Good evening. Much more to come on the school closures in just a moment. But we start with breaking news and troubling new numbers on COVID-19 in our province as B.C. declares a public health emergency. Today, B.C.'s top doctor announcing three new deaths from the virus, bringing the total number of deaths to seven in B.C. The province has also recorded 83 new cases, by far the largest single day jump, meaning 186 people have now contracted the virus in British Columbia. Those numbers coming late this afternoon from BC health authorities as they update the spread of the virus. Let's go to Norma Reed in our breaking news center with a closer look at the situation here in BC. Norma? And Mijang, while those positive test numbers are up, it's important to understand why there was such a jump today. First, let's take a look at the case numbers. With the 83 new positive cases, BC has a total of 186. Of those cases, 116 are located in the Vancouver Coastal Health Region, 47 in the Fraser Health Region. 12 total cases are found in the Vancouver Island Health Region, and there are seven cases in the Interior Health Region, plus four cases in the Northern Health Region. Three more people have died in BC due to COVID-19 as well. Two people uh, connected to the Lynn Valley Care Center outbreak and a man in his 80s who died in a Fraser Health Region hospital, bringing the death toll number to seven. Now with the public health emergency now declared, Dr. Henry and Adrian Dix will have expanded powers during this crisis. We've taken a number of unprecedented measures in the last few days, and this declaration of an emergency enables me to be faster, more streamlined and nimble in the things that we need to do right now. The provincial health officer can, organize, can authorize health officers to perform their duties anywhere in the province beyond their, the health authorities, the regions they work in. So the provincial health officer can also compel any and all peace officers to enforce her verbal orders. In addition, it means that I as health minister can amend regulations without the consent of the cabinet and the health minister can make changes to the Public Health Act without the consent of the legislature. Okay, so now as for those new case numbers, Dr. Henry says that while today was absolutely a large increase in case numbers, it's not reflected of, of just the new cases tested in the past 24 hours, but includes a large number of people now going for testing, as well as five new test sites across the province, with more coming on board. Mi Jung Scott. Thank you, Norma.